Thomas Newton, also known as Lack of Lassages St. David, employee of Public Workers St. David, passed away on Monday, 14th February, at the age of 79. He was the husband of Winifred Newton, father of Godson Newton, Belle von Thomas, and Cathy and Julian in Canada, Kim and Kelvin Newton, adopted father of Densley Joseph, grandfather of Rhea, Samantha, Kemma, Kimon, Daniela, Dwayne, Roderick, Kellen, and Kyle Newton, Ricky, Rickson, Akim, and Akisha Thomas, great grandfather of four, including Sherry Noel, brother of Charles, Wilbert, and Joseph Newton, Abraham and Lawrence Pascal, Juanita Marcel in Trinidad, brother in law of Winton Thomas, father in law of Maudlin Newton in the USA, Kenny Julian and Fitzroy Thomas. Uncle of many including Natalie Greenwich, many other relatives and close friends including Pastor Benedict Newton and family, Merlin Henry and family, Merle Mack and family, the Thomas, Pascal and Creedland families of St. David, Fortune families of Croshu, Batiste family, Mason family of Malmount, Sabrina Daniel, Mr. and Mrs. Telesford of Coles Gap, Honorable Oliver Joseph, Joy and family, Members of Grand and Spiritual Baptist Church, friends and neighbors of Lassages and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Thomas Newton, also known as Lack, of Lassages St. David, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Monica Telesford, née Felix of St. Paul's, who resided at Old Wester Hall St. David, passed away on Wednesday, 16 February 2022 at the age of 84. She was the mother of Patsy Telesford, niece of Daisy Caesar, sister-in-law of Ada Telesford, Una Frederick and Onita Jack, godmother of Raquel Felix, Elvis Frederick and Joycelyn Lallion, aunt of Janice, Leonard, Glenn, Christine, Roel, Steve, Magnus and Byron Felix, Angela Redhead and Philip, niece-in-law and caregiver Christine Richards Felix. Many cousins are the relatives and close friends including Rosie Joseph and family, Daphne Sears, Cicely, Celia, Christine Bailey, Elizabeth Moraine, Minister Anthony Boson, The Woodruff, Felix, Telesford, Thompson, Lallion, Jack, Mason and Stewart families of St. Paul's, Happy Hill, Windsor Forest and Old Westerhall, the pastor and members of Voice of Praise Assembly, Old Wester Hall and Global Mission, and friends and neighbors of Old Wester Hall and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Monica Telesford Nay Felix of St. Paul's, who resided at Old Wester Hall St. David, will take place on Wednesday, 9th March at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the People's Church St. Paul's and entombment at the Mount Airy Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Elizabeth Winifred Paul Wilson, also known as Tanti of Telescope St. Andrew, passed away on Saturday, 26th February, 2022, at the age of 68. She was the wife of Roland Wilson, mother of Betty Ann, Denise, Dennis and Ray Paul, Sheldon, Stacy Ann, Raquel and Brendan Wilson, grandmother of Nishwa Samuel, Mikel, Nathanel, Kijon and Rajel Paul, Ayanna Best, Rolanda and Shaquille Charles, Miracle Mason, and many others. Great-grandmother of two. Sister of Carly Paul and Monica Paul in Trinidad. Sister-in-law of Maureen and Cynthia Wilson, Rhonda Rodney, David and Cecil St. Louis and others. Daughter-in-law of Brandala Paul in Trinidad. Niece of Merlin Cornwall and Muriel Sylvester and family. Aunt of Sally and Leibard and Wilma Gabriel in the USA, Nicole and Lennox Paul, Lorreen Courtney, Leroy, Leo and Leonard Mark and others. Many other relatives and friends of Telescope and surrounding areas including the Honorable Emmeline Pear, Vickley Forteau and family, Alma Pope, Anne Courtney, Rickson O'Neill, Juliet Joseph, The Shade and McIntosh families of Cariacou, the Alexander family of Telescope, the staff of the St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary School, the Commissioner and staff of Her Majesty's Prisons, and the staff of the General Hospital. 
The free Nobel of the lead Elizabeth Winifred Paul Wilson, also known as Tanti of Telescope St. Andrew, will take place on Wednesday 9th March at 2 p.m. Free Nobel arrangements entrusted to Wayne's Free Nobel home. John Thomas Gunpot, also known as Pokerman, of La Fortune, who resided at Chantimel St. Patrick, passed away on Thursday 17th February 2022 at the age of 58. He was the father of Janelle Bowler, Morris, Jerry Bowler, and Michelle Bowler St. Louis, father-in-law of Robinson Morris, Samaran Bowler, and Roy Dell St. Louis, brother of Erika, Rolda, Faithlin, Bassanio, Robert, Gerald, Junior, Hilarion, and Shanitha, brother-in-law of Edward, Wendy, Uncle Moore, Eldon, and Dwayne, grandfather of Jen Lona, Janaya, Janaya, and Shadel, close and dear friend of Alice Horsford. Many other relatives and friends, including Isaac, Chanel, Yvonne, Sharon, Zanette, Merrill, Clannis, Dr. Daniel Thomas, The Gunpot, Belfon, Halley, Bowler, Morris and Horsford families, and friends and neighbors of Chantimel, La Fortune, Ceteres, Marley, and in England and the USA. The funeral service and interment of the late John Thomas Gunpot, also known as Pokerman, of La Fortune, who resided at Chantimel St. Patrick, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Judith Hilda Philip of Chantimel St. Patrick passed away on Sunday, 20th February, at the age of 89. She was the wife of George Philip, mother of Loxley Logie, also known as Lobo, Michael Dialy, also known as Doc, Anthony Tony Philip, Ronald J. Philip, mother in law of Dr. Ruth Dakota Philip, grandmother of Cindy, Brian, Rohan, Roselle, and Nathan. Sister of Maureen and Chiny. Aunt of 15, including McLean and Alson Andal, Jimmy, Matto, Erlin, Tessa, Sandra, Junior, Erla, Davis, Franklin, John, and Bevy. Sister in law of Emmanuel, Stephen, Garfield, Ruth, Esselyn, Antonia, Cicely, and Gillian. Caregiver, Violet. Other relatives and friends, including Luther, Lionel, Roy, Gladlin, Robert, Dorrit, Marge, Puy, Castle, Yvette, Walter, Erica, Hummelin, Akim, Esther McLean, Helena, Hezzy, Cosmos, Nurse Nisha, and Franzlin, Lady Ali, Philip, Alexander, Andal, Francis, Cato, and the Koto families. Pastors and members of Samaritan Seventh-day Adventist Church, friends and neighbors of Chantemil, Digopis and Samaritan, and Montcraven. The funeral of the late Judith Hilda Philip of Chantemil, St. Patrick, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lacroix Brothers Funeral Home. Carmen Arnold of St. Paul's, who resided at Monk Gay St. George, an employee of Pan American Life Insurance, passed away on Tuesday, 22nd February, 2022. She was the sister of Reverend Cecil Jacob, Stephen, Godfrey and Edna in Grenada, Wesley in Trinidad, and Edith in the USA, close and dear friend of Peter Philip, grandmother of Macaulay, Mikel, Armoud, Giovanni and Becky, aunt of Adisha, Carolina, Kerry, Elora, Alvi, Ricardo, Brianna, Esther, Judy, Pearl, Ruth, Jocelyn, Jessica, Sherla, Rachel, and Keith. Sister-in-law of Joan Arnold in Grenada, Liz, and Hannah in Trinidad. Grand-aunt of many. Close friend of Marilyn Smith. Other relatives and friends including the Arnold, Alexander, Crony, and Bishop families, Christine Wilkinson and family, the staff of Pan American Life Insurance Group, Spice Isle Janitorial Service, the pastor and members of Life in the Word Ministry and Faith Deliverance Tabernacle, members of CAB St. Paul's, and friends and neighbors of St. Paul's, Monk Gay, and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Carmen Arnold of St. Paul's, 
who resided at Mount Gay St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Ursula Antoine Ne Sandy of Happy Hill St. George, member of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, former principal of St. George's Anglican Senior School, also known as Heinze, and pastor emerita of the St. George's Bible Holiness Church, transitioned to glory on Wednesday, February 9th, 2022, at the age of 75. She was the mother of Timothy, Hannah, Deborah, Jude, Joshua, Stephen, Ruth, Titus, Samantha, Phil, Chanel, Ronel, Janelle, Roland, and Hannah, also named Princess. Adopted mother of many, grandmother of Kamani, Cherise, Adam, Crystal, Yana, Sarah Elizabeth, and Elijah. Sister of Winifred Sandy Batiste and Bibiana Douglas in Grenada and Helen Lewis in Canada. Mother-in-law of Charmaine Antoine, Osbert James, OBE, Neil Roberts, Sharian Antoine, Tira Antoine, Denise Antoine, and Andre Purcell. Sister-in-law of Gloria Antoine and Kathleen Stephen in Grenada, Dale Antoine in the USA, Kenneth Antoine in the Philippines, Michael Lewis in Canada, and Alan Boson in the UK. Caregiver Brenda Richard. Relatives including nieces and nephews, the Stephen family of Labrie, St. George and St. David, the Gabriel, Telesford, Samuel and Greenwich families of St. David, Ted Joseph and family of Happy Hill, the Sandy and Antoine families of Happy Hill and surrounding areas, and the Langine and Cador families of St. John. Church family, Bible Holiness Church congregations in Grenada and the USA. Friend of Dr. the Right Honorable Keith Mitchell and family, neighbors and residents of Happy Hill and surrounding villages, Joyce and Twine, Diana Hercules, teachers at the St. George's Anglican School, past and present, communities of the Grenada Union of Teachers, Her Majesty's Prisons, Ministry of Education, Child Protection Authority, and Public Service Commission. A thanksgiving service for the late Ursula Antoine MBE, Ne Sandy, of Happy Hill St. George, will be held on Thursday, March 10th, at the National Cricket Stadium, Junior Murray and Raw Lewis Stand, at 1 p.m., according to Bible Holiness Rites, followed by private burial. The thanksgiving service will be live-streamed on YouTube and Facebook. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Mary Fabina Collins of Monk Royal, who resided at Beauceju Cariacou, passed away on Sunday, February 20th, 2022, at the age of 66. She was the mother of Andy Collins in Canada and Billy Collins in Cariacou, grandmother of Mackenzie and Melody Collins in Canada, sister of Nelson, Edmund, also known as Tyre, Wallace, Vernon Collins, and Pamela, also known as Pammy, in Cariacou, and Headley, also known as Cairdy Collins, Sheila Flery, Teresa Joseph in the UK, Lynette Charles, and Esther Philip Paul in Trinidad, sister-in-law of Ursula Fortune, Cynthia and Marcina Collins, all in Cariacou, niece of Eulene Filbert and Iceland Noel in Canada, Ronnie and the Honorable Anthony Boson in Grenada, mother-in-law of Laura Collins, close friend of Roland Bedeau, aunt of 21, close cousin of many including Vian Ray Modeste, Alina Duncan, Veronica Flurry, Vantina Dick, Sylvia Coy, and Irma Joseph all in the USA, and Mildred Charles in Canada. Many other relatives and friends, including the Collins and Boson families in Cariacou and Grenada, the Andrew and Lewis families of Tophill and in Trinidad, the principal and staff of the Hillsborough Secondary School, Dellen Joseph, Sani Charles, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Guadeloupe, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Wilson, Gloria Roberts, George Charles, Sarilyn Patterson, Iran Prime, Gary Thomas, all in Cariacou, Genevieve Collins in the UK, Rhonda Daly of St. Patrick, and friends and neighbors of Beauceju, Monk Royal, Top Hill, and surrounding areas in Cariacou, and in Grenada, too numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Mary Fabina Collins of Mount Royal 
who resided at Boseju Karyaku, will be held privately. Freenewal arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Freenewal Homes. Philomena Helena Francis, also known as Philma and Fudge Lady, of Mardi Gras St. David, passed away on Friday, 25th February 2022, at the age of 60. She was the daughter of Asburn Harvey, also known as Azi, mother of Shireen Burris Hurley and Kareem Burris, fiancé Reginald Batiste, mother-in-law of Jason Hurley, sister of Gillian Smith, Pastor Philip Francis, Timothy Francis, Jerome Francis, Cheryl Johnson, Fleda Hines, Agatha Perry, also known as Rosie, Dawn Thomas in the USA, Nicholas, Kenrick, Allen and Junior Hayes, and Jane Durangett in the UK. Aunt of many, including Terence Smith in the USA, Talon Smith in Canada, Akila Francis, Kathisha Francis, Timon McMeal, Timron McMeal, Tamika and Tanika, Jerome Junior Francis, and Jaden Bascom Francis. Niece of many, including Adolphus Francis, Pastor Elvin Francis, Cecilia Philip, Victor Francis, Dale Douglas in Trinidad, and Claudine Moody. Sister-in-law of many, including Eric Smith, Maisie Francis in the United Kingdom, and Kathy Ann Francis. Other relatives and friends, including Naomi Charles Sears and family, Martha Boney and family in the UK, Anastasia Charles and family in the UK, the Joseph family in the United Kingdom, Paul Joseph and family, Mary Joseph and family, the Burris, Jacob and Scott families of Mardi Gras, Rosie, Peggy, Diane, Kirina, Linda, Camille Johnson, Byron and bus drivers of Mardi Gras, her fudge customers, and friends and neighbors of Mardi Gras and surrounding areas. A memorial service for the late Philomena Helena Francis, also known as Philma and Fudge Lady, of Mardi Gras St. David, will take place at the House of Prayer Sanctuary, IPA Mardi Gras, on Thursday, March 10th at 2 p.m. Friends and relatives are invited. No flowers by request. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Omega Ferelia Jackson, also known as Wintress, of Bogles Cariacou, passed away on Saturday, 12th February 2022, at the age of 70. She was the wife of Leroy Jackson, mother of Amanda, Marcia, and Keith Jackson, adopted mother of Marvin Charles, grandmother of Janaya, Ella, Leah, and Aidan, sister of Winston, Michael, Mona, and Cynthia, sister-in-law of Dawn Phillips and Steve Etienne, Aunt of 15, niece of 15, close cousin of Alcina and Dawn Jackson. Many other relatives and friends including the Jackson family, the Quashi families and Philip families, Werner Braffitt, Rita and Wilfred Boson, Chester Noel, Lloyd and Jacintha Blairs, Werner and Ellie Cox, Rupert also known as Boney Roseman, Sydney and Sheila Carby, Bridget Thomas and family, Donald Eno, Mona Alexander, and Monica Barclay. The funeral of the late Omega Ferelia Jackson, also known as Wintress, of Burgos Karyaku, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Osra Mark of Nunparel St. Mark, who resided at Hillsview, Gore St. John, passed away on Sunday, 20th February 2022. At the age of 63, she was the mother of Godfrey Mark, also known as Babylon, and Jarus Mark, grandmother of Keyshawn, Keyshawn, and Keisha Sanderson, and Diamond Marshall, sister of Osbert, Osburn, Linda, Elsa, and Jude Mark, mother-in-law of Vicklin Sanderson, sister-in-law of Ruth and Diana Mark, aunt of many including Nadia Mark Henry, Rondell Edmund, Nakisha, Kedeen, Levon, Leon, Kathy, Darrell, Juvana, Curlis, and Albert Mark, niece of Doreen Williams, grandaunt of Francis Williams, Nesta, and Michael Noel, godmother of Rashida and Shada Marshall and Crystal Samuel. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including Janelle Redhead, Chantal Charles, 
Bernadette Telesford in England, Mariel Samuel, Julian Ragbasing, Joyce Ragbasing in the USA, Estelle Marshall, Leo Richard, Lerine Laborde, Kathleen Bernard, vendors and friends of Melville Street and Gwarve Fish Market, and friends and neighbors of Nunparel, Gwarve, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Osra Mark of Nunparel St. Mark, who resided at Hillsview Gwarve St. John, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Fedora Agnes Roberts, née Samuel, of Beaton St. David, who resided in Brooklyn, New York, USA, passed away on Monday, 28 February 2022 in Brooklyn, New York, at the age of 98, left to mourn are her nine children, George Regis, Carly Hall, Jeffrey Maturin, Mariam Bain, Angela Roberts, Stetson Roberts, Martin Roberts, Sharon Roberts Harry and Althea Roberts Davis. Twenty grandchildren Amos, Che, Nadine, Nigel, Angelus, Lavelle, Bernard, Colson, Vernell, Kurt, Matthew, Michael, Makiwa, Aisha, Akeem, Alicia, Carlian, Kyle, Carlene, Sabina, Rashid, and Lennox. Daughter in law Sally and Hall. Sons-in-law Alistair Harry and Sylvester Davis, 24 great-grandchildren, numerous nieces and nephews, and their respective families and lifelong friendships. The funeral of the late Fedora Agnes Roberts, née Samuel, of Beaton St. David, who resided in Brooklyn, New York, USA, will take place on March 11th at St. John the Baptist, 333 Hart Street, Brooklyn, New York. Viewing service will be from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Grenada Time. Request for prayers for the Roberts family, extended family, and friends. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Christopher Regis Glud of London, England, passed away on Friday, March 4, 2022, at the age of 57. He was the husband of Helen in Holland brother of Madeline Wilson and her husband Mark in England, aunts Daphne Vincent Valendram in the USA, Lucy Vida Sylvester and husband Cyprian Sylvester, and their son Ryan Sylvester of Felix Park Cottage. Many other family members too numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Christopher Regis Glad of London, England will take place on Saturday, March 12th in Holland. Remains will be laid to rest in Grenada at a later date. Arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Nelsia Margaret Vincent, also known as Makeup, Mussy, Nello and Auntie Nell, of Richmond, Grand Bra and Felix Park Cottage, Crochu St. Andrew, passed away on Monday 14th February 2022, at the age of 87. She was the sister of Catherine Superville of River Road, Florence Lewis Vincent in England, Daphne Vincent Valenbrum in the USA, and Vida Lucy Vincent Sylvester of Felix Park Cottage, Crochu St. Andrew. Sister-in-law of Cyprian Sylvester, aunt of Leslin Sylvester, Ryan Sylvester, Liam Benjamin, Aaron Valenbrum, Kenroy Vincent, Mark Wilson, Kester, Neil, Christopher Regis, Jillian Lewis, Joycelyn Williamson, Madeline Wilson, Kelly, Michelle, Charmaine, Charlotte, Edine, Madison, and Denisha Benjamin. Other relatives and friends including Uncle James Lewis, Alwyn George, Henry, Glenn, Merle, O'Neill Findlay, Jocelyn, Lorna, Rhoda George and the George family, Sybil and Twine, Nautica Noel, John Dumont and the Dumont family, the Blackett, Worm and Vincent families, the Alexander family in Trinidad, Barbados and Grenada, Daphne Fortune, Glenda Samuel, Steve and Jelen McQueen, Lucy and Wellington King, Hermie Caliston family, Donna Edwards, the Singh family of Latant, Dominic Sylvester, and friends and neighbors of Richmond, Grand Bra and Crochu St. Andrew. The funeral of the late Nelsia Margaret Vincent, also known as Makeup, Mussy, Nello and Auntie Nell of Richmond, Grand Bra and Felix Park Cottage, Crochu St. Andrew, 
will take place on Tuesday, March 15th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Croshu RC Church and interment will be at the Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Homes. Denise John, also known as A.E., of Frequent here St. George, passed away on Saturday, 26th February 2022 at the age of 60. She was the mother of Terence, Antoinette, Christine, Vanessa, and Rakisha John, grandmother of Abella, Kimlin, Nikisha and Asher John, Vashon Philip, Hayden and Gianna Frank, sister of Dennis and Glenroy John, Perlita John, Marva, Lucinta John Cador, Yvonne John, Lenny Charles and Jerome Stanislaus. Many nieces and nephews including Patricia, Marcus, Daniela, Daniel, Nathan and Junior John, Navona and Nevon Monroe, Felicia and Angel Cador, mother-in-law of Kelvin Francis and Akim James. Many other relatives and friends including the Bell and Griffith families of Woburn and Woodlands, the Cato family of Marianne, members of Faith Deliverance Tabernacle, and friends and neighbors of Kaliste and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Denise John, also known as A.E., of Frequent here St. George, will take place on Thursday, March 17th at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, Cemetery Hill St. George's, according to Pentecostal rites, and interment will be at the Wilberforce Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Monica Cador, née Langine of Concord St. John, passed away on Saturday, 5th March 2022, at the age of 91. The funeral arrangements for the late Monica Cador, née Langine of Concord St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Velma Ada Murray of Monk Rich St. Patrick, who resided at Grenville Street St. George's, passed away on Friday, 4th March 2022, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Velma Ada Murray of Monk Rich St. Patrick, who resided at Grenville Street St. George's, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Thomas Tomkin, also known as Tomo, of Grand Aunt St. George, passed away on Wednesday, 2nd March 2022, at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late Thomas Tomkin, also known as Tomo, of Grand Aunt St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Dorothy Jerome, also known as Dudu, of Waltham St. Mark, passed away on Tuesday, 1st March 2022, at the age of 99. The funeral arrangements for the late Dorothy Jerome, also known as Dudu, of Waltham St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Barnabas Andrews, also known as Roger Andrews, of Windsor Forest St. David, former employee of Customs and Excise, passed away on Monday 28th February 2022 at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late Barnabas Andrews, also known as Roger Andrews of Windsor Forest St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Rawlins Francis, also known as Tumpy, Redman, and Moneyface, of Montan, who resided at Happy Hill St. George, passed away on Monday, 28 February, at the age of 56. The funeral arrangements of the late Rawlins Francis, also known as Tumpy, Redman, and Moneyface, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Charmaine Link, née Frank, of Bogles Caracou, who resided at the Glean, Montgay, and La Mode St. George, passed away on Saturday, 26 February, at the age of 41. The funeral arrangements of the late Charmaine Link, née Frank, of Bogles Caracou, who resided at the Glean, Montgay, and La Mode St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. 
Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Veronica Joyce Andrew, also known as Teacher Caro, Auntie Caro, and Mrs. Blackswan, of Tuileries and de Blando St. Andrew, who resided in Florida, USA, passed away on Friday, 11 February 2022, at the age of 95. The funeral arrangements for the late Veronica Joyce Andrew, also known as Teacher Caro, Auntie Caro, and Mrs. Blackswan, of Tuileries and de Blando St. Andrew, who resided in Florida, USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Wayne Celestine, also known as Sion or Fish, of Mamican St. Andrew, died on Wednesday, 16 February 2022, at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late Wayne Celestine, also known as Sion or Fish of Mamican St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Godfrey A.B. Alexander, also known as Natty, of Tempe St. George, a resident of Spice Residential Care, passed away on Sunday, January 30th, 2022, at the age of 69. The funeral arrangements for the late Godfrey A.B. Alexander, also known as Natty, of Tempe St. George, a resident of Spice Residential Care, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. I'm Pastor Jerry Keynes Douglas, and I'd like to take the opportunity today to express my deepest sympathy to all of you who have lost loved ones friends, members of your family or inner circle. Probably one of the hardest de issues to deal with in life is the loss of a loved one, someone close. There is arguably no harder blow than to be separated from someone as a result of death, and especially so when that death has come as a tragedy, as a tragic circumstance. Our deepest sympathy is with you today. I'd like to share a word of comfort with you from the Word of God that we can all learn from as we deal with bereavement, with mourning, with sorrow, and with the pain of a lost loved one. I'd like to say from the Word of God we learn about Abraham, the patriarch, and the Bible says that when Abraham's wife Sarah died in Hebron, that Abraham sat down to mourn and to weep for her. And then after a period of mourning and weeping, the Bible says Abraham arose and he went to do business, to buy land, to build a tomb for Sarah and to uh, bury her remains. And for all of us, there is that issue of dealing with the grieving period. And yes, it's okay to mourn, it is okay to grieve, it is okay to to express that, that, that sense of loss and the pain that it comes with it. But I say to you today, you're not alone. Like Abraham, go ahead and moan. You're not alone. It's natural. Let it happen. However, I also believe that by the grace of God, you're not alone in these times. So God says, and as you feel that pain, he says, come to me, all ye that are that are." heavy laden, burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We need to come to him and find a grace that goes beyond the casual comfort that people may give to us. Find support in God himself. I also want to say to you that if you moan and you know your loved one, knew the Lord, you know the Lord, then we do not moan as those who have no hope, but we know that Jesus will come again and the dead in Christ shall arise. That ought to be your hope as well. But finally, I also want to say to you in this difficult time to focus on what your loved one would have wanted. The Bible says Abraham rose up after his mourning, even during that, 
and he was able to get on with his life. And your loved ones will certainly want you to go through some grief and some mourning, but also to be able to move on with your life and to do the things that they would want you to do, to be strong, to bounce out of your grief and to be able to carry on and to fulfill the rest of your life until the day comes when you or I would be inevitably moved out of here by the same process. So my prayers are with you, are with you today, that God would help you and give you comfort and grace in this time of bereavement. May the Lord bless you and help you and strengthen you in an amazing way. And as I close, I give you this wonderful promise from God's word. He says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. He says, I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will support you with my mighty right hand. Isaiah 41.10. May God bless you.